My name is Janelle Morton and I'm the Center Director of the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center located at Southern Arkansas University. Thank you for joining me today as we discuss the topic, Can My Business Qualify for a Business Loan? Whether you're applying for an SBA loan or a traditional commercial loan, there are certain factors that improve your ability to obtain financing. This self-test, as we discuss this topic today, is designed to assist you in understanding important issues that lenders consider when making a decision about a small business loan. So let's start with the first one. Do you have good personal credit history? Research indicates that good personal credit history is one of the most important factors in identifying borrowers that will repay their business loans. When a lender makes a decision on a small business loan, they will consider the personal credit history of the borrower. A bad credit history can be the basis for denying a small business loan. Number two, do you have money of your own that you can put into the business? All loan programs require that the business owner puts in some of their own money into the business. This owner equity injection shows that you believe in the business enough to risk your own money, and it also reduces the amount of monthly debt payments that the business must make. Virtually all loan programs, including SBA loans, will require a reasonable contribution from the owner. A good rule of thumb is 20% or more of the loan amount in the form of an owner equity injection. The more equity, the more favorable potential lenders will look upon your loan request. Neither banks nor SBA provide 100% financing. Number three, have you filed your personal income and business taxes? Lenders and government loan programs alike want to see that you have met your tax obligations for both filing and paying taxes. Many of the loan programs are in partnership with government agencies. These loan programs do not look favorably on individuals or businesses who have unpaid income and or business taxes. For SBA loans, an income tax verification is obtained from the IRS before a loan is closed. Number four, have you demonstrated that your business has the ability to repay a loan? If the business is profitable, this helps demonstrate repayment of the new debt. If a business is not profitable, it becomes very important to prove how it will be profitable in the near future so that a loan can be repaid. ASVTDC training events and consulting can assist you in this process. Number five, do you have any collateral to secure a business loan? Some loans are unsecured while others require collateral for the loan. Unsecured business loans often have a higher interest rate in general. The larger the loan amount, the more likely collateral will be required. Number six, does your business have a positive net worth? The net worth of your business should be positive. If there are loans from shareholders on the balance sheet and you are able to subordinate these or not pay the shareholders for these while you pay the bank back, you may consider these loans from shareholders as equity. And number seven, does your business currently have low levels of debt? Businesses that have too much debt will find that their profits are directed at paying back loans and not building retained earnings in the business that can fund future growth. Consequently, banks and government loan programs look more favorably at loan requests that do not add too much debt to the business. Banks often look for debt to net worth ratio of a three or less, and that debt ratio is total liabilities divided by equity. Banks are also looking for an acceptable debt service ratio. ASBTDC consultants can assist you in assessing your debt situation. Please understand that the ASBTDC does not give business loans or grants, nor do we have any input in lending decisions. We cannot influence a funding source's decision about your project or negotiate on your behalf when you apply for a business loan. However, ASBTDC staff can answer questions, provide guidance and direction, 
review business plans and funding proposals, and aid in the preparation of the loan application packages. We also offer helpful learning opportunities through our network events such as webinars. Thank you for joining me today and I hope that you have found this information helpful.